actually. I searched it several times just to helix something. I already had the white source. Do I have any elves list? Absolutely, I do. I actually just got it back. Uh, or no, I didn't. Fudge. Let me find him. There's a friend of mine who was borrowing the elves list that we were playing combo elves. Super spicy. Turn three at the earliest. Elves. It's really cool. Elves. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. What do we call it? We called it. Well, it's going to be down here because I don't have the cards for it. Temporarily. It was uh, Beck and the Elves. This one. That's a spice and a half. This one was blast to play. Uh, all the cards that are in yellow, he's borrowing right now, so. But, uh, he said he'd get them back to me this week, so maybe we'll have some elves this week. I don't know. Austin says, my mana base will not be less stable with a stomping ground. It's still searchable. Oh, no, no, the, the stability I'm speaking of from Austin, I'm not, and this is not me saying that you're wrong, the stability that I'm pointing out is life points destabilized by a non-stable mana base. So that's what I'm kind of trying to tell you there, friend. If I change it to a breeding pool, it will produce these problems. A stomping ground would not. That makes sense. I just, I'm not interested in having a fourth color in a deck that's really just a three color deck, though. Jersey says, I play elves. Yeah, this is sweet. This, this loves it. It's really sweet. That's not me saying you're wrong, that's me saying I, I was very pleased with the mana base. Just run catch release. Probably the catch release is blows up the brain, but it is strong. Joe says that. Oh no, the leaf crawler I wouldn't play in magic in paper. Uh, in paper you can run mana morphos. The reason we had to try the leaf crawler on magic online is because we were timing out. Because you had to find the one of mana morphos to be able to catch the shaman multiple times or just once. Um this was let, uh, letting us filter all the green mana that we're producing as we combo off into black. Um, otherwise, no, if you're playing this in paper, cut the leaf collar, run one to two metamorphos. Um, if you're playing this on Magic Online, I, I recommend running a leaf collar or at least a split of metamorphos to leaf collar. Uh, that was something we realized quickly early on in the deck um, is that we were timing out because we combo, we'd draw like a big chunk of the deck, maybe about half or more, and keep going. And we were having trouble uh, actually casting the Shaman of the pack, so that's why you need to be able to cheat yourself into black. But uh, look kind of like this. Yeah, curse kind of like that. I thought it was actually new tech. No, it's not new tech, but it's it's just there so that we can filter into black and win. Uh, yeah, you could run the, yeah, this one, Essence Warden. Yep, we were running a copy. This also lets you gain infinite life as you go through the combo, uh, James. Mm -hmm. You can run, like, one to two of this. I was only running one at the end because it felt win more, like, just, like, just killing them seemed better, but. Well, Wisher. Have I looked at two Emrakul at that? You actually don't make that much mana, uh, Chase. That's a great question. So it actually doesn't make a lot of mana. What it does do is it makes, it cycles through itself. Let me explain. I'd love to show you this this deck, though I can't. Everybody bug, uh, I'll have to tell you his name, bug the person who's borrowing the deck for me um, so we can play it some on the stream. But uh, no, I can't play it until I get this cards back from him. But uh, you actually don't make a lot of mana, you just cycle through the deck. In other words, you make enough green so you can cast the next elf, and then that elf helps you get to enough green to cast the next elf and so forth. You don't, you don't make 15 mana in this deck. It actually just cycles through itself, kind of like a storm deck, and then you kill them. I do remember you, Terror. What's up, friend? I'm glad you came up to say hi. How's it going, Terror? <laughs> Hello. I do remember you. Hello. Hello out there. Yeah, it was really cool to meet some of you guys in person, flesh and blood. It was cool. It was cool. You guys are like normal people. All of you. Just, I mean, a little nerdy, obviously, because, I mean, we're all nerds. Because <laughs> we all love magic, but... Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. I was happy to meet you guys. It's great. Thank you for the I'm a garbage truck. Oh no. Crumble. How much do you need to combo off? Now that is? Ah, uh, like three. Orchards are busted with Beck. That's why Omni. Orchards let you draw cards off the Beck. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'll let you know if I try to, Dan. I mean, the money's just not there. Uh, and actually, like, a lot of the reason I was able to actually go to the GP, to be quite honest with you guys, a lot of it had to do with the fact that uh, I had some very generous people that got me there and back, so... There were a lot of little things behind the scenes. Uh, you guys know who you are. Oh, Jeff and Mike and everybody else, Brian. Um, you guys know who you are. And, but I don't mind name dropping you. Like, without you guys, I would have made it back there or back to the GP. But, um, yeah, I mean, like, there were a lot of little things behind the scenes. And, like, the cheap, the, the fact that they, you know, it was a cheap hotel stay. Uh, and that, you know, food was cheap. Somebody bought me a pizza. Uh, one of the guys at Trey Van Cleve, if you guys know him, he streams magic, Trey Van Cleve. Uh, one of his friends that he introduced me to bought me a pizza, or bought me a slice of pizza. So, like, there's, like, a lot of little things equated to a successful excursion, a successful trip, and uh, I appreciate them. Nice, Terror. Uh, Overmaster, I would say it's more of a turn three, to be honest. I mean, in, in theory, I think you could turn two, but it'd be, like, the perfect hand. Like, perfect. Perfection. Chase Masters, I, I have never made that much mana, though. But I don't remember ever making that much. Skyworthy, this is the deck I took to day two of the GP. Yep. Uh, except we're making some changes. The boom bust isn't working on Magic Online. So we're going to try to do some different stuff with it and then take the result to the league. Tweet says, nut draw for sure. It's literally thousands of clicks. Yeah, it is a long combo on Magic Online. Made today, made it day as Tron. Nice goblin guy. Very nice. So Just trying to figure out the last card I want to test. What was that other card we were talking about testing? Not a second logic knot, no, no. Maybe like uh, the third spell snare or the fourth path. Spellsnare was great at the tournament. God, it was like the best card in my hand like every time. I didn't face any living end, but... In that case, it would have been the worst card in our hand <laughs> if we drew it, but... I almost would test a third spell snare. It was really good. It was very good. Like, especially, like, it helps you get... Like, spell snare and modern helps you get your foot in the door, if that makes sense. Like, let's say you're on the draw, and your opponent tries to drop, like, an early, early, like, goy for Dark Confidant or something. Like, a lot of the two drops are like, let's say you're on the draw against Storm, it lets you get your foot in the door as far as countering uh, a, um, a Pyromancer's Ascension. Is it better EV to play the main event or just win all the side events? Perhaps a Pierce? I wouldn't run a Pierce, I'm not looking for soft permission outside of Romance and maybe not. I, I, would, I would run like it's a third Pierce even. There are plenty of matchups where it's fantastic. And any if the match is not good for it, you just take it out. It's fine. I liked it a lot. Or or just another helix in the main. Plenty of people jamming really aggressive decks at the GP. Plenty of people jamming aggressive decks at the tournament. Hey, give me. Do I have another spell snare? I think I. I think I do have a third one. I would almost jam one more. This new, no, I don't. No, I thought I did. Wait. Wait. Yes, I do. Cool. Uh, you do get pro points at the main event. I'd love to keep jamming this even though we can't abuse it with brain. But the boom bust, I don't think you can run unless you're able to abuse it with brain. So. Alright, let's play. This is BB and T without the boom bust. Which, I mean, some of you guys wanted me to, to... Yeah, BB and T without boom bust, basically. No bust. Um, like, the thing is, is the deck, in my opinion, is much stronger with the ability to instant speed Armageddon. But, 
I mean, there are plenty of matches I won that didn't involve the, um, yeah, there are plenty, there are plenty of matches that I won that only involved the Beck Call Fusion, so, um, the Bird Cestral, so to speak. Um, yeah, competitive modern five match. I used to think snare is too narrow, but the more I see an action, the better it looks. Yeah, I mean, there's so many hits. There's so many hits. There's, and people joke around, but like the more expensive your opponent's deck is, typically speaking, the uh, the more yeah, that was another. Like typically, we were on the same deck then, though. Oof, twelve tickets. All right. Yeah, like the more the more like people will say like the more expensive your opponent's deck is, typically speaking, the more. Um, the more uh, useful you'll find the snares to be. And that's not always the case. I mean, it depends on the archetype, how useful the snare will be. Armageddon's a fair and balanced magic card. Uh, the deck was better with the instant speed get in, I'll admit. Um, but let's see if, how the deck holds without it, because I, I think out of all the interactions, out of all the things I was doing, I think that would be the most likely where the judges were like, that was where like some of the judges did raise an eyebrow because like that's like la like mass mass land destruction outside of like the boil, maybe you consider like Blood Moon, maybe you think about Choke, like most mass land destruction available in modern um, is um, certainly maybe a direction they don't want to go with modern, I don't know, I mean I brought the deck there anyways, blowing up everybody's land, which is fun for me, but I'm just kidding. It was terrible. It was, there were some games where I like blew up their lands and I was like, man, this feels pretty dirty. I almost felt sorry. A couple of my opponents, I almost felt sorry about blowing up all their lands, but the vast majority, not really. What well, I think about Wildfire, what? Wildfire? Oh, thanks, Color Red. You feeling better, friend? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, the boring. Yes, you can. I did it at the GP. With judges and without judges, yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Yes, you can. It felt great. Mm-hmm. Especially if you like earlier, like have, like if you have a Snapcaster already on the table, like if you have like some bird tokens or a Snapcaster on the table already, it feels great. Uh, feeling super awesome today. Took my dog for a walk. Nice. So you are feeling better. Good. 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 I'm glad to hear. Because I know you were telling me some things and things are going on. And I'm glad to hear you are feeling somewhat better. Yes. Oh, this hands pretty terrible. It has both the one of planes and the one of foundry. Yet we have things like command and remand. I mean, you technically could keep it. It You're hoping that the opponent is relatively... Daily Lama, what does this guy play? I think I played against him before. I mean, in an emergency situation, this hand could fix itself into the blue source. Um, you'd have to like quarter the planes. Good lord, that's not where you want to be. Um... It plays a good early game, though. Like, I mean, it plays a decent early game. Like, if he's aggressive, like, a bolt and a path is fine. You draw the blue source in three or four turns, you're fine. Um, the command is a pipe dream, though, for an opening hand like this. When you have the one of foundry, the one of planes, uh, one of two ghost quarters, you're not going to get to the command. Uh, every match, basically, Austin. All right, Trolley says, glad to hear the deck treated you well. How many boom busts did I run? Uh, just two. Just two boom bust. Yeah, it, uh, essentially every match I would get a judge call. It was awesome though. It was fine. The judges are really nice. There was only I actually only had one. There was only I told everybody about it earlier. If you missed that, there is a deck. Re there is a recap. You guys can go back and watch it. But uh, basically, uh, only one of the matches. One of my matches against Tron, where I get in, did I get a judge call where the judges like weren't sure? And one of my buddies must have saved my butt. One of the people that watches or 